All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's episode is going to be pretty brief, pretty short, pretty straightforward. Uh, what we're doing is we remove the wheels off the car. And I didn't realize how bad they really are, but the lips are super cloudy. They're water stained. They look horrible. And then um, when I bought the wheels, Dakota actually gave me a full entire set of spare hardware for the car. So we are also replacing the hardware and polishing these lips. So it's pretty straightforward. I'm gonna give you guys a heads up. There's gonna be some time lapse. Well, I'm not sure on how you guys feel about the whole time lapse deal, but I could cut it up and show you guys just bits and pieces, but I feel like I would actually show you guys the entire process and what it actually takes just to polish and replace hardware on one or two wheels. It's actually a super long process. It would help if I had a wheel holder and like a wheel roller, but I don't. So everything's done by hand on the ground. There is things that you could do to quicken up the process using, like I said, a wheel holder. And also there's a thing called a power cone. So if you, it's like a foam triangle thing that you put on, you put on the end of your drill and you just dip the thing in compound and go crazy. I don't have that. I mean, I could go buy one, but I'm just using what I have on hand and that's manpower. So I'm literally polishing these things by hand. I know it's not the most interesting content, but I feel like I just put it out there for you guys. It's kind of useful. I'm gonna show you guys the compounds I use and the steps of using them. And that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. I appreciate all the support. Like I said, don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, do all that good stuff. I'm gonna give you guys a little brief little video on how to polish your wheels. So first things first, I use an aluminum wheel cleaner. You don't have to use an aluminum wheel cleaner, but I figured it would help with the water stains just a little bit. But I just used a regular white cloth. You don't need nothing special, just something to clean the surface with. Next step, I use the Mother's Wheel in Aluminum Polish. Uh, you wanna use a microfiber cloth with this, if not a power cone. Like I said, I'm doing this all by hand. So you pretty much just dip the cloth in the compound and you just rub away. Uh, you do gotta use a little bit of force into it because you wanna heat the metal up. But yeah, you just rub and rub and rub until it becomes shiny. So this is after polishing number one. You can still see surface scratches, but it definitely looks way better right there, you can see. This third step is called Never Dull. Uh, my dad always swore by it, so I've always had some on hand. I'm not a big fan of it. I don't really see any major results out of it. I think it's for just a quick shine, but it really doesn't buff the surface and buff the metal like you really need it to. I think it just gives it a nice little shine.
Last but not least, I'm using this aluminum metal compound from Rebel. Um, it's red. It smells like cinnamon. I love this stuff. I get the best results from it, including the mothers. But I use this last because I feel like this is the most effective. It's the same thing like the mothers. Dip it or pour it onto some microfiber cloth, if not your power cone, and just rub away. Like I said, this is the actual best stuff that I use. I highly suggest it. Everybody has their own little likings on what products they use, but I will swear by this aluminum compound. We still got surface scratches, but shiny. All right. So now that we've just polished the lips, now we're going to be replacing these corroded hardware. And while we take out the hardware, we can polish behind where the where we can't reach with the hardware in there. So right here, I'm tearing apart the wheel little by little and assembling little by little. You're realistically, you're supposed to take the tire off, disassemble the whole entire wheel, disassemble all the hardware and replace it all at once. So right here, I'm doing it by sections. I'm doing two outers and then replacing the two outers. And then I do the three inners and then replace the three inners. But in the meantime, while I'm taking them off, I'm polishing the lip where I couldn't really reach underneath the hardware. So I'm just doing it the best I can by hand with the hardware.
Now your back's gonna hurt, because you just pull landscaping duty. Hmm. Anybody else's fingers hurt? I didn't think so. it was short brief straight to the point all we do is some good old polishing by hand and disassembling assembling some multi-piece wheels it really wasn't even disassemble disassemble and assemble it was just a replacing hardware little by little but like i said i figured i would just record this process because i want to just keep putting out content for you guys whether it's useful not useful i know i ramble on quite a bit i'm trying to keep this short sometimes i like to get in depth about things like i said if you guys haven't subscribed, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, comment below, even comment below what you guys think I should do next. I got a few things up my sleeve that we're going to be filming on, but we'll catch you guys in the next episode. I appreciate all the support. Peace.